And all I'm doing is trying to get this vibration happening with your eyes so you get the, a lot like the Surat's work when he was working. So this is this is my kind of my palette, but always this is, is that always the colors you use? No, it depends on the paint. The paint. But now this is my basic, my base, and this is a um, uh, marble dust and a varnish medium, and that becomes the base for all the paint. So everything gets mixed into this color becomes the mother color. And that's typically how I work, so that all the colors are blended already from the beginning based on, this isn't really white, this is more of a bone white, so then it becomes that the white that we use. And are you a painter? I am. So you, you understand the mother color theory? how that works. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's the old school way. In the, in the 1900s during the golden age of illustration, they had uh, schools, the Howard Pyle School, and a lot of the uh, teachers at the universities would teach the mother, mother color theory. That if you start with one color and you mix that color into every other color, it unifies the painting. And it can be warm, it can be cool, yeah. but you need to put a little bit of it into each color. And that's what they taught. So. Wow. No, I've never heard that. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. I'm sure there's lots of things I haven't heard, but that's very interesting. <clears throat> well, I happened to go to school down in California with, uh, at a, a nice school. And the gal who was the color theorist there, Judy Crook, who is now deceased, um, she was a bit neurotic, but because of her schedule, I totally understand. She was flying all over the world, creating color patterns and color charts for, for all the styles, for the cars, for um, dresses, for, oh, wow. I mean, everything that came mm. out, Target, those colors had to be designed ahead of time. Mm. And they do that based on what is the what's the personality of the of society right now? Are they are they going through a lot of duress? And then they associate colors with relieving of that. So like when you're depressed, you don't want to see drab colors. You want to see something a little cheery. And so they they kind of add those. It's a formula. It's the way she talked about it. The way she did it. Uh, the Munson scale is the the color system that they would use as a color mixing guide. And that's one, I think everybody should learn that system, the Munson color system. 19th century system, but it's the best system that, that they have. I mean, there's other. Uh, Gamblin art, Gamblin paints. Are you familiar with the Gamblin paint? Are you oil painters? Mm, I am. Oh, you are? Mm, yeah. Vivian does water. Well, some. <laughs> well, you should get to know She's Gamble. She's really an uh, oil painter. Mm -hmm. uh, Gamlin oh, yeah. is right no, in Portland. Well, I'm familiar. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm familiar with this company. Well, they use yeah. the Munson's the Oh, system. do they? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Do you have a finished yeah. painting inside? There is one right up here, the I Reeds like painting. And then there's one right above the desk right over there. Alright, so where we mm -hmm. This so is where I needed those Do you teach now. as well as doing your art? Pardon me? Are you a teacher as well? I do workshops and classes. Okay. And I have uh, opened up the 